everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I am Deluxe. All right, doing a what's new in Transformers. Yay. New Transformers. But before that, you know what to do. Go hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me. It really helps out the channel. Hit that little bell. It notifies new content. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. You know what's in the description. It's so easy peasy. So lemon squeezy. Guess what? I still have shirts for sale. Yep, they're in the description also. Follow that link to Teespring. I have three new ones that are really cool. I just got one in and I really love it. So yeah, go check them out for me. All right, what's new in Transformers? Basically, I just talk about some new stuff coming out. I don't have it in hand. I just like to talk about it. You know what I mean? You know, give y'all a little information. Something, something. A little something on the side. You know, eh, eh. <laughs> That was stupid. Anyways, let's get to it. Because we got some really good stuff. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. So here we go. All right, up first we have upgrade kits, upgrade kits, upgrade kits for days. So we have a new company called Utopia. They're giving us an upgrade kit for the Seeds Galaxy Optimus Prime. So this kit will offer you a pair of fillers for the main cannons, which is really cool. It fills in those gaps. Uh, two new toy accurate guns and two pieces of proper rear, rear bumper in alt mode to hide the notorious, uh, notorious robot feet. So it's going to be a nice offering for a, uh, already a good figure and everything. So the kit is only available on Taobao at the moment, but hopefully it'll be available uh, stateside and other retailers soon. So if you want some new stuff for your um, Siege Optimus Prime, here you go. Also in upgrade news, DNA is giving us another version of their Titan Return Fortress Maximus stuff. So they gave us originally for Takara one, now they're giving us for the Hasbro version. So you get some new hands, which uh, the fingers look really long and weird, but yeah, whatever. Uh, you also get those hip cannons, uh, the red little cannons right there, and you get uh, some new legs for Cerebros, um, just like uh, Lieutenant Dan got some new legs. And you also get some new feet that also, you know, give you a rocker and everything, and it looks like some new ratchets or something in there, so very nice. So if you have the Fortress Maximus and you want to give them some more posability and everything, here you go. You got some weird ass hands too, so DNA is going to give us a tight returns. Uh, Fortress Maximus upgrade kit. So up next is going to be Legends news. We don't have a whole lot. We got a lot of stuff coming out, man. That new uh, New Age Megatron's come in, and uh, we got some really cool. Uh, the DJD from Iron Factory. The next one's coming up for that one. So that one's almost finished. So very nice. Canic Studios, which is also known as Mech Fans Toys, I guess. Uh, they're giving us a MS-25 Flywheel Warriors. So yeah, we're getting a track. So we've not gotten a track from Legends. Uh, from anybody in third party so this is pretty cool this is the you know legends plus kind of version so it's going to be bigger than you know most of their stuff but it's pretty cool that they're giving us a, a tracks and everything it looks pretty good I'm not gonna lie it looks it looks decent it doesn't have that i haven't seen the back you know like the mp's got that big old gap so i can't see really if it has a big gap or not but yeah we're getting a ms-25 flywheels warrior so also known as tracks from mech fans toys up next also in legends news it looks like mechanic toys um, I talked about this about uh, about a month ago or something like that. So it's a little submarine, you know, transforms into it. Got a little harpoon gun and everything. So we're finally getting some pics of them with some color in it and everything. So uh, the last pics I had were black and white, I think. Uh, but yeah, this looks pretty cool. Um, you know, if you want a little submarine and, you know, transforms into something. I don't know, it even has a head or something. It looks like it. I don't know, it's weird looking. It looks like a shark or something like that. But yeah, it comes with a little harpoon gun and all that wonderful stuff. So yeah, Mechanic Toys uh, looks like they're giving us a little submarine. X2 Toys, Starlight, which is Starstream, and Frozen, which is Skyfire, Legends figures are coming out also. I think they're almost out and everything. So we're getting a little tiny. I think they look like world's smallest Transformers also. I don't know if you can consider them Legends, but, you know, they're really tiny. So, uh, yeah, this looks really cool. I'm definitely in for this, you know, set because it's got Starstream. And the uh, Jetfire doesn't, or Skyfire, doesn't look that bad either. It looks pretty cool. You can do the G-Walk thing, and you can do the... You know the Iron Man pose and it looks pretty neat so yeah I'm looking forward to these uh, X2 toys Starlight and Frozen. All right an MP kind of scale news it looks like X Transpot is showing us a gravestone so this is their motor master so we get a little pic you know it's kind of blurry and there's a lot of stuff around it and everything so I guess they just 
somebody either snuck a pick or something or they just you know didn't really care what was behind it and everything so we are getting this finally i know I mean, everybody knew we couldn't get it anyways because we got the first four but it looks like my boy greg for mercy asked them and it will be coming out is what they said it's in december in december before the chinese new year so that is awesome i was really hoping it would be out uh, this year uh, before the Chinese New Year because you know everybody knows once that goes on you won't get stuff for about a month or two or something like that so we got some new pics of uh, gravestone and it looks pretty good I'm, I'm excited you know you can't really see it that well but um, I know that the first four are really nice so I think this is gonna be good too so yep new pics from X Trans Boss gravestone so up next also in X Trans Boss news we're getting the toy versions of these and it looks like the new uh, the crack rock is coming out or crack up is coming out real soon they've already shown pics of it in the box and everything so we got new images also of death wish which is their dead end and their uh overheat which is their um track strip so yeah we're getting new toy versions of all these uh, i don't think they're going to be exclusive so i think they're going to be available everywhere so yeah if you want a new toy version of your uh, stunticons from x transbots here you go i I, mean, I, th I think it's a cool idea i'm not in on them i have these already and i got the g2 versions and i'm really good with that but if you want some new like you know the new they got new heads and everything and they just look you know more like the toys and everything so you know if you're into that that's pretty cool um, I like the Death Wish one, it looks pretty good. You know, the Overheat one, yeah, that head looks kind of weird, but you know, it's the toy version. So yeah, new X Transbots toy versions of their Stunticons are coming up. Also up next, we got some new images from the Toy World or whoever they're gonna be called next week, I don't know. This is their Bumblebee, the, you know, the Green Hornet. This is from the movie that was, he was in there for like five minutes. Uh, so this is, it looks like the silver version, but it looks kind of purple also, so kind of a silver purplish kind of version and everything so yeah we're getting several uh recolors of this mold and everything and i may pick up one but i'm not gonna pick up all the recolors i mean come on now but you know you can arm him up with in the alt mode and everything and you got the battle mask and the hammer so yeah so yep you're getting this from green hornet this is the purple okay so this is the purple version kind of it looks kind of grayish purple or something like that so yep toy world's still around all right, I think we have a new company called APC Toys. I don't know for sure. They may have been called something else some other time, but it looks like we're getting a Prime, uh, Prime, Prime from uh, the Prime series and everything. Kind of looks like the first edition one too. I don't know what scale this is. I, it looks like it might be MP kind of version and everything, but this looks really good and it transformed. I know I checked out that one, uh, I forgot the name of it and uh, it was not that good at all, uh, but this one looks pretty good. I mean, I, I'm really, you know, it looks really fascinating. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it. Uh, I love some new stuff from Prime. I hope they really, I hope a company goes straight in with Prime and give us a Megatron, you know, bulkhead, all the stuff from Prime RC. That'd uh, be really pretty cool. But yeah, we're getting this from APC Toys and it looks like the first edition uh, Optimus Prime. And everything, you get the weapons and all that good stuff. So this is pretty neat. I'm gonna be on the lookout for this. All right, and Fans Toys news. Up first, uh, they are reissuing the uh, Motor Master, uh, the Road King. So if you missed out on it the first time, they are putting out again. I think it's coming out in December, I think was gonna come out. Uh, I don't know if it's sold out again yet, but um, if you wanna try to get this guy, which I think you should, this is gonna be a great uh, series, you know, of, of Suntacons from them. Definitely try to get this one, okay? So we got new um, reissue of uh, Road King, their uh, Motor Master. We also got new images from their uh, 31B Magnum. This is their Wild Rider. So it looks like this is gonna be their final colors for their uh, Wild Rider and everything. So I'm really excited. Uh, I don't know when it's gonna be coming out. I think probably around December, maybe. They got a, quite a other, they got some other stuff coming out uh, real soon, but um, hopefully we can get this uh, combiner uh, finished real quickly sometime by next year or something like that. But yeah, new uh, color picks of the Wild Rider and everything. So very nice. And we also got some new picks of their 30B Iceman, which is their air raid. So we're getting this one probably the next uh, aerial bot that's coming out. And hopefully it will be soon too because I would love to finish this off. Uh, man, they're just fans toys do some good stuff man so yeah we got some new color picks of Iceman their uh, air raid and everything looks really good I love the Altmo looks really nice and everything so ah, very nice for fans toys yay all right hope you like that little slideshow of up and coming new stuff man new fans toys we got X Transbots coming we got some add-on kits for days like always very wonderful stuff but I want to hear from y'all 
Are y'all excited for any of this stuff? I know I am. I'm always excited for new Transformers, but let me hear you up in the comments and tell me what you're excited for if you don't even care about what's coming out. I'm, I'm excited. So, that will be it. I hope you liked it. Go down and hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me. I'm trying to get to 3,000. Yeah, slowly, but getting there. All right. All right, I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell has, bro. And good night, folks.